Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Tab back here with another video. In this video today, we're going to be talking about the season rewards, Stephen Curry, and something that's been on my mind for a while now. But if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers, guys. I thought Stephen Curry would be kind of that free type of reward, right? If you want Steph Curry, you can get him from for free. All you gotta do is grind the game. I like it because he's just another option for those no money spent players to do whatever. But the more I've been thinking about some of these agendas, the more I'm like, it's really, I mean, it's not free. Because here's the thing. If you have another job, I don't, but let's say you work an eight to four job five days a week. Let's just say, okay, let's say you're my mom or my dad and they even work a little bit more. Okay, let's say that you get home, you play the game for two or three hours. The only way, if that is the case, that you will be able to get this Stephen Curry card is by, first of all, having MT, or second of all, buying VC. That's really it. So the reason I'm going, the, the, the thing I'm going to talk about today is look where the most XP is. Paul George, Alonzo Mourning, Manu Ginobili. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, that's just the Manu. So let's look at this. Okay. Lamar Odom. Dennis Rodman, aren't those lock? Isn't don't you have to hold up? Don't you have to lock in for Dennis Rodman? I'm com you literally have to lock in for Dennis Rodman to get this XP. So the only way, the only way you are going to be able to get a guy like Stephen Curry is by getting some of these players, some of these cards. And if you are no money spent, and if you have another job, if you only play the game two hours, let's say a day. You don't have two hours to grind MT and stay up to date with all of these challenges. You just simply put, do not. What I would like to happen is sure, come up with different challenges. Come up with domination challenges, triple threat online, offline, all these types of challenges. But don't make people have to get Paul George. Don't make people have to get Brandon Roy. That's just, it's, it's irrational to think that most people should have to lock in Dennis Rodman to get at least 25 100 XP. That's not that's not even reasonable to think like that. So yes, I have a problem with these challenges. Do I have a problem with these these challenges right here, the week four amethyst challenges? Absolutely not. Because getting two blocks in a domination game with any Nuggets player is a challenge that is attainable for everybody. You don't need specific players to get those challenges done. Same thing with the daily login rewards. These are or the daily the daily not login rewards, the daily challenges. These are all fine. I don't have a problem with these. I really don't even have a problem with these. The problem I have is when you're making people buy a guy like Gary Payton. Otherwise, you just lose out on a thousand XP. It's that simple. You don't want Ben Wallace? You don't want to pay for Ben Wallace? Okay, you lose out on a thousand XP. Do you guys realize I play this game for a living? I got Manu Ginobili because I'm going to get his challenges done. But if I wanted Ben Wallace, look at how much he is. If I wanted Lamar Odom, Look at how much he is. Look at how much all of these cards are. Plus, that doesn't even, that that's besides the point. What if I wanted to lock in for Dennis Rodman to make the most, to, to really maximize my efficiency? Okay, Isaiah Thomas, 80 some K. Lamar Odom's over 100 K. Then you got to get the rest of these players as well. So you're looking at probably 250,000 MT right there. You're looking at Manu, who's over 100 K. Paul George, who is over 100 K. Then you go here, Steve Nash, what's his price? Oh, he's over 100 K too. All of these players should not have challenges. They simply put shouldn't. A guy like let's let's go into a signature challenge. Not a signature challenge. Um, a spotlight challenge. Why are there not more challenges for for getting these done? Why when you win this and you, or where's it at? Where's where's this spotlight challenge? Why when I get a guy? Why when I get a guy like where's he at? Why when I get a guy like Norm Nixon? Is there one or two challenges for Norm Nixon? And there's three or four challenges for Manu Ginobili. That just doesn't sit right with me. That doesn't make sense. Because with Norm Nixon, I swear there was one or two, maybe three maximized challenges. Here's my thing. Here's my ultimate conclusion about all of this. 2K is trying to trying to get money out of us with the XP challenges, and I don't I don't like that fact that sits wrong with me in the point of me going for Stephen Curry was not to, to buy players. It was to get Horace Grant challenge, get all these easy week one challenges, the week two challenges. 
But the, some of these things just rub me the wrong way. The way they're trying to manipulate this. And so you have to buy players. You have to lock in sets. That bugs me. That bugs me. Modern Ginobili is over 100K. You look at here. Dennis Rodman, 200 plus K. Then you look at Chris Webber, Draymond Green even. And then you got Norm Nixon, okay? Yeah, Norm Nixon's a free player. You get him from grinding st spotlights. Can somebody tell me why? Can somebody please tell me why? The Norm Nixon XP, you get 550 plus it when I get this one done. Okay, you're looking at 1,000 XP for Norm Nixon, who you got to grind five games to get. Then with Draymond Green, oh, Draymond Green, Green yeah, yeah, you can have 2,500 XP. Like the priorities on 2K in general just don't make sense to me. You have to grind five games for one player and that, that's worth 1,000 XP, and you still got to grind that XP with Draymond Green, you just lock in a set. It just rubs me the wrong way that they got XP totally backwards. In my opinion, XP should not be like it is right now, and it bugs me. It, I don't know if I'm the only one that, that, that it bothers, but it rubs me the wrong way. Originally, I thought, you know, these season agendas, these are all fine. Obviously, you're going to have to grind for all of these, but now they're changing it to where, you know what, if you lock in a set, do a little bit of grinding, it's, it's going to be easy. It's going to be easy to get all these challenges done, and I just, for me, I don't value that. That doesn't value to me. Am I going to get Stephen Curry? Absolutely. Am I going to get him? Would I be able to get him if I worked a normal job and played two hours a day? Probably not. It's not even attainable. Even for some guys that play Pro-Am, they're not going to be able to get him unless they lock in sets. For a guy, for a person who works a typical eight to four and can play two hours a day, hey man, you come home from work, you lock in the set for Draymond Green, and you're moving and grooving. Listen, with Draymond Green, all you got to do is get three double doubles in, in a dom three domination games. Get 10 boards and 10 assists in a single domination game. One block with Draymond. There's your 2,500. Rather than a guy who can't spend money having to grind five games to get Norm Nixon and then having to grind his challenges. To me, some of these challenges are what they're supposed to be. But these added promo type challenges aren't what they're supposed to be. What I think, and this is my opinion, I love what they did with the clutch set. Absolutely love this. With any clutch player, score 55 points, score 39 points and six threes and 40. So you can use any of these clutch players to do that. And I like that. So you, if you wanted to be really ball on a budget, you could go out there with John Paxson and complete all of those challenges. I like that, okay? I like that because you're not forcing people to go out here and get Jerry West. I don't remember if there are challenges for Jerry West, but that bugs me if there are. There shouldn't be challenges for a guy like Jerry West because then they're basically forcing you to lock in the set just to get XP. Because let's be honest, how many people are going to use Dennis Rodman? Nobody. Nobody's using Dennis Rodman unless it's for XP. And so really, I don't want to say the challenges and I don't want to say Pink Diamond Stephen Curry is pay to win because he really is a free card in the game. But they've kind of manipulated it in a way in which you have to pay to get Stephen Curry. You either have to pay or really grind the game like I have. And it's it's stressful for me and it's I know it's a lot, I know it's stressful for a lot of people. Guys, we only have where's the timer? 18 days left to get Stephen Curry. And if they don't come out with more like free type challenges, it's going to be tough for other people to get him. So I think they need to rewire the way this is shaped. I wish they would. But for 2K, I get where they're coming from as far as a money standpoint. But for me, I don't like it. I wish that, that they do more moment challenges, more daily challenges, more more rewards such as an unlimited. If you go to, if you reach a Galaxy Opal tier or, you know, get Paul Pierce, you should get 3,000 XP, something more inclined rather than just a, oh, 100 unlimited wins. You got to win 100 unlimited games for one, 1,500 XP. That's terrible. It's just, it rubs me the wrong way completely. And I truly do, I truly don't like the way this whole thing is set up. Kind of a pay to win scheme. But that's my kind of takeaway on the free Stephen Curry that they are supposedly giving out and giving us the opportunity to get. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop your comments on kind of how you guys feel about the Stephen Curry. I was hesitant to record this, but I feel like I feel like I'm not the only one thinking this. I know I've seen some other mod teamers tweet about this. Like, imagine making us lock in for XP. Exactly. It's not fair. It's not right, in my opinion. But drop those comments down below. That is going to wrap it up for the video, guys. As always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.